Hey, good morning everybody. It's another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, July 13th. And, uh, well, let's take a look here. The stock market you'll see has uh, actually been rallying pretty high today. Uh, but the um, reason being is that it's not so much the trade balance itself, even though it's more of a negative than what the estimates were. Uh, it's primarily because our exports are showing that it's increased, which is good thing for our uh, jobs and everything else, our growth here. But also our imports have increased, which is actually greater than that of our imports. So typically imports, when uh, those go up, it's because people are primarily uh, are showing that they're buying. So that, you know, the traders are liking that, that they're sounding a little optimistic. So right now the stock market's up. And also, when we show you the next page, uh, we had a bond roll, coupon rollover, so don't be alarmed uh, by the large gap. Uh, it dropped quite a bit. It's about 34 basis points it dropped. And uh, so uh, the rollover should re result in about 34 basis points. So, But let's take a look here. So as you can see, it shows a large gap underneath even the 10-day moving average. Um, there, there we go. And uh, so a big gap there. So 34 base points, quite a bit uh, drop. Um, but it started the day off actually, uh, the rollover was about 34. So it actually started the day off at 30 minus 37. So it would have uh, actually been maybe three basis points. And we're probably down about 15, 16 basis points currently. So we would probably be, in reality, if we didn't have the rollover, probably be touching. Uh, the 10 day moving average, but we would still be on the other side of the 10 day moving average versus below it. Uh, to, tomorrow we're going to have retail sales. It could quickly reverse the other way. Um, you know, we're going to have more, uh, you know, re results coming in this week. So I could uh, quickly change the opposite direction. Uh, remember, we're also showing earnings. So because of the higher imports, uh, traders are going to be expecting better than expected earnings and if they don't get those numbers they could quickly go the opposite direction and personally I think that's the way you might see it uh, just don't see uh, great or better than expected earnings coming in and uh, so anyways we'll wait and see uh, also something else to watch out for today is we have the 10 uh, the 10 year come uh, an auction today don't expect to have a Great turn on that, especially when they're feeling a little optimistic about the starting to feel a little emotional optimistic. The three year was uh, yesterday and that did go very well. Uh, so we'll kind of wait and see. Tomorrow will probably be a little bit more normal trading, uh, of course, of volatility in there, and then the rest of the week from there. You guys have a great day.